No operation at sea provides more dramatic evidence of skill than the perfect carrier landing. With the grace of a gull, the aircraft approaches its nautical haven. And now, the breathtaking thrill as the pilot responds to what is called the cut and gently eases his craft downward to the deck for a perfect landing. As the mid-ocean sun paints dazzling patterns of light and shade, the deck is cleared for the landings to come, and the busy life of the carrier goes on. <coughs> and so we descend below, where we find the neat hangar deck, to which the planes are promptly dispatched for a well-earned respite from their long and hazardous mission, and where they impatiently await future aeronautical adventures. Aching head. Uh-oh. You got DDT. Huh? DDT? Yeah. Deck dive treatment. <laughs> Very common. But don't worry. You'll see worse <laughs> worse cases than that down here, such as ang 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 uh, anglomania. That ang ang angling in disease you get from the boys who always overshoot or <laughs> undershoot the groove. Catch the wire at an, at an angle, and it is <laughs> Planes weren't built to take that wire off center. Gives them ang anglomania. But then that isn't all you can get. You might be exposed to one of the boys who always holds off, keeps pulling back on the stick, won't set it down. For him, they invented the barrier. And do you know what that nets you? Flotophobia. Of course, that's rather mild. But brother, the real mess is the deal you get from nervous flyers who disobey the cut. Now, every pilot knows that when the LSO gives him either the cut or the wave off, he must obey it. Yet, the nervous ones won't accept the decision. They not only risk their own necks, they risk blowing up the carrier. I hear a gentle sound. Ah, uh, you're you're going batty, brother. Holy cow! Look, a normal landing. Hmm, <laughs> must be going batty. Thought I heard airplanes cheering. Huh. Yeah, they won't have anything to shout about until carrier pilots realize that they can't go off and expect the plane to land itself. They've got to stay on the ball. No one is going to fly that airplane right down to the deck but the pilot himself. Uh -huh. 